Hey everyone, wanted to make a quick video showing how to make a stopwatch timer using Gina. If you don't already have Gina, it is a program that monitors the EverQuest log files and it allows you to create audio triggers, display pop-ups, and timers right on the screen, uh, just monitoring your log files. I put a link in the description if you want to download and install it. Uh, just to show you what uh, we're going to look at here is I've created a little trigger that lets me uh, begin a stopwatch. So if I click on this button, you see that a timer pops up on my screen and begins counting up. And if I click stopwatch, it goes away. And I have this set for trigger text. Uh, if we click begin watch, we can see down here Erasmus begins watching the time. When I click stopwatch, uh, the timer goes away and it says Erasmus stops watching the time. We're going to click over to Gina here and uh, take a look at how I have this built. I put this in common under timers. You can put it wherever you like. Open this up and get the trigger editor window open. We'll look at the general settings and the timer tab here. This particular trigger doesn't use anything in basic, uh, timer ended, or counter. Everything is under the timer tab here and the information under general settings. I just set the trigger name to begin watch to make it simple that matches the hotkey that I set up. And the search text is for me Erasmus begins watching the time. Now I have this caret in here at the very beginning. Uh, this is a regular expression to indicate that we're only going to be looking at uh, an exact match of the text that begins where this line of text begins. So you can't get a false positive by somebody sending you a tell with this string of text and accidentally firing your trigger. This will only read this exact line starting at the beginning to make sure that this only goes off when you want it to. Uh, the little C and the curly brackets indicates that this is going to be your character's name. That's pretty important for this since it's running off of an emote. We have regular expressions checked and use fast check is checked uh, to make this a bit more efficient. I put this in my stopwatch category. If you have multiple categories, you can put it wherever you like, or you can just use the default. On the timer tab, uh, of course, we'll be using a stopwatch timer. That would only work for this one. Uh, for the timer name, I put begin watch. That's just what's going to show up right there uh, on the screen. You can put that as whatever you want also. And if the timer is already running when triggered again, I have it marked to start a new timer. Uh, you could also do restart current timer. Do nothing is probably not a good idea for this one, but you can play around with these and see how they work differently, see what the different effects are, and, and pick the one that you like best. Now, very important for this trigger is that we have end early text. We don't want that timer to just count on forever. We need to have a way to stop it when we're done using it. So I have for mine, Erasmus stops watching the time. And I have that set up by putting that caret right at the beginning and then C in the curly brackets for my character's name. So for me, that's Erasmus stops watching the time. Since we have this logic built into it, we are checking the box for use regular expressions. And if we flip back over to the game, uh, right click on our hotkey for begin watch, uh, we see that I have this marked as just slash em begins watching the time, uh, which matches the text that we're going to be searching for. And on the stopwatch hotkey, slash em stops watching the time. And of course, that matches the text uh, that we're searching for to end the trigger early. Using that, you can just click on begin watch to start your stopwatch. And when you're done with your stopwatch, you can just click stopwatch. That'll wipe that right off of there. I hope that you find this useful. It's a bit simple, but I like it because it does explore a little bit more of Gina, more than just creating a simple audio trigger or maybe a text pop-up. We're using a little bit of the logic functions built into it and creating a little bit more of an interactive trigger that we can definitely find a couple of use cases for. Now, I don't only use that stopwatch counter for a stopwatch like this. I have a couple of other triggers set up that I use it for, and I do plan to make some videos uh, showing some ideas that you can use with that, or you might see me using them on my stream or in some of my gameplay or raid videos. But again, I hope that this is useful for you. 
Um, if you have any questions, uh, leave me a comment. Any other thoughts or ideas, just post on the video and I'll do my best to respond. And uh, if you found this helpful, uh, if this is something that you're going to use or play around with, I hope that you'll like the video and let me know that you found this helpful. Thank you so much.